I think the current crisis tells us that crises start with one person making choices about how they spend their time during the day. That may seem strange, but a book that we just published here at NCI called It Starts With One starts with this premise. You change individuals, you change organizations. You change organizations, you change institutions, you change institutions, you change countries. And what I mean by that is it takes individual leaders doing things differently to have potentially even averted this crisis. For example, I, I really honestly wonder how many senior executives at Lehman or AIG or other companies that have folded, other banks and financial institutions that have folded, I wonder how many of them have had any real honest contact with lower income families, middle income families, the ones who constitute the bulk of all those mortgages that have been lent out there. I wonder how many CEOs and senior executives have spent their time and energy once a month, once every other week, talking, being with, understanding what's the world of paying a mortgage from their perspective. And I, and I bet none of them have done that in any level of consistency. And as a result, they're so disconnected from reality that in this case, the change started with one, but the problem was the change was a problem. And what happens is when those senior executives interact, talk with, become part of, have conversations with people who are in very different worlds than they're in, it lets them or it leads them to make different leadership.